Welcome back. This is uh, Dagger with his Road Ahead. Um, I'd like to first off apologize. Uh, the quarter two Road Ahead I recorded ended up not having audio. So I ended up forgetting to re-record it. So I will go over what I did in the, over the last three-ish months. We'll go here to squads first. So, there's a lot that's changed since the last one you saw in January. I've added a lot of relics. I have 7-star R7 General Skywalker. I rounded out most of my GAC teams as I scroll down here. You can see uh, working on Hux and the Resistance Heroes. Got my first order to gear 12. And I'll break it down a little bit more, more by faction. I'm ready to unlock Kiati Mundi when he comes back. After uh, the next TB. Next light side TB. And I've got a couple of products I'm working on as I'm not currently going for Galactic Legends. So, let's kind of come back here and I'll kind of go over where everything's at. We'll start at the bottom. Sith Empire. Probably nothing's changed here. Except for maybe the Gear 12 Sith Assassin. Um, took Bastila to R4 and Malak to R6 for Galactic Legend counters. Separatists. Uh, the only real changes I... They'll change it, the changes I have is I finished Gear 13 and relicking, low relicking my Bounty Hunters. Took GBA to R7 for uh, Galactic Legends counters. And took Spy to R4 for PvP. Oh, GATW. Got my resistance all to gear, well, almost all to gear 12. I'm not currently farming Rose, but she'll eventually get farmed. Not necessarily going for Ray at all, but I do want the resistance heroes uh, gear 12, because they are quite good at characters. Uh, gear 13, Daka and Nightsister Spirit. Daka is for the Nightsister Assault Battle, and just... Uh, Dark Side TB and Spirit is because she's probably the best Night Sister. My Imperial Troopers are Gear Twelve. That was a I, I actually did this for the Escape Podcast. Um, you'll see I'll be finishing off Shore Trooper eventually and Magma Troopers in my future projects. Um, but I wanted the Gear Twelve the Trooper team. Everyone but Stormtrooper here. Um, I told Paul Anthony. And uh, Neil, Andrew Iyer, and Scotty McLaren, that if they hit a thousand subs over there, that I would gear 12 them. And I'm a man of my word. I even put the Zeta on Stark, which I didn't need to do. That wasn't part of the agreement. But I figured for completionism, I would do it. Uh, I can pass the Ackley mission more than half the time. Not relevant. Alright, this is where some of the changes happened. I've Took my Shock T up to R2 and took my General Skywalker to R7. So, took R2 to R5 for the Padme team and kind of rounded out some of my secondary characters that I may or may not push a little higher depending on what I need for Light Side TB. It's not my primary focus at the moment, but it's some. this is something I'm willing to come back to. Alright, so this is... A point of contention, I guess, for myself, personally. I'm on the home stretch with Hux. And I don't really want to relic all these bad characters to get Kylo. That being said, I think I'm going to be building the finalizer fleet. So, I think I'm going to be taking all of these characters except for... Well, First Order Officer, I think, is the only non-pilot. Besides Fox, but Fox is, like, absurd on his own. So, I think I'm going to gear 13 the faction, and we'll see how long it takes me to get to that. This is not an active project, this is a passive project. Um, it's down the road a little bit, I have a bunch of stuff I want to take care of. While So, since we looked at Resistance and we looked at First Order, I'll kind of walk you through my thought process on Galactic Legends. Galactic Legends are excellent characters that will take your roster to... Maybe not the next level, but they will definitely give you a meta character. 
However, it requires an awful lot of relics on an awful lot of average, mediocre, whatever you want to call them, characters. And this is not really an opinion, so I'll just kind of say it. Taking a mediocre character to relics does not make a character good. It makes it a stronger version of a mediocre character. So, do I want to have a bunch of R3s and R5 characters for no reason outside of getting Kylo? And not right now. I'm going to wait and see what the Empire Strikes Back stuff is this summer before I go all in on the First Order. But I will not be doing Rey. Probably ever. Empire, no real change. I'm taking all my pilots to level 85. Fight me. Um, clones definitely are better from the last video. I didn't want to do that. So we'll just go... This I did for Reality Skewed Gamers. I took my Django team, bounty, Django lead bounty hunter team to Relics for their charity event, which was canceled due to the COVID-19 thing. I was planning to fly down to Orlando, meet up with Zylo and uh, DPK, and kind of hang out and meet RSG and kind of do some stuff. That being said, I'll get to my project shortly, but the, the, the other bounty hunters are... A, lot of, a few of them are on the list. So you can see I'm currently working on Jawas. So... One of the reasons I'm working on Jawas is I kind of just want to fuck around and gear up characters from the middle to bottom of my roster while everyone who got their first Galactic Legend takes off and gets their second Galactic Legend. So I want to be behind the, the GP curve, if you will, the top 80 curve. Plus, now that Darth Revan is my uh, Ray counter... I won't be putting on defense anymore, which means I'll be putting Padme on defense, and I won't bore you with all the shuffling. But basically, it means that Treya now has to take on Padme if I see it on defense, which means I need a Geo counter. Um, I could build the Zeta Finn team, but the, the Resistance heroes need relics, and fuck that. So, Jawas it is. So... We'll come over here. This says Gear 12 projects, but it's also Gear 11 projects. I don't plan to take all these characters to Gear 12 necessarily. Some of them I won't be able to because they won't be 7 stars. Uh, I'm going to finish taking all the Jawas up. I want to take Short Trooper to Gear 12. Hopefully by the time I get done with the Jawas, the, these three, these uh, Bounty Hunters and Carol will be farmable. Um, I, really I really like their kits. Can't really justify putting too much gear into them. Aura's there because Aura with Grief and Bosk activates Mandalorian's contract. I don't know if you heard me snap, but two like two turns. Bosk, Taunt, Grief, Mass Assist, Bosk, Mass Assist, Mando, Mando gets to blow somebody up. Um, the rest of these characters here are low priority, or when I get to them. I want to take my pilots like to year 11. You can see all the pilots here. And then I kind of just have the rest of my resistance that isn't gear 12 just kind of bookmarked at the bottom as things I do want to get around to eventually. I do want to gear 12 my resistance at some point. Uh, this list is a whole lot shorter. I want to take my Sith Empire all to relics because... Or to gear 13, maybe not relics. We'll, we'll see how much more how many relics I need on Sith Trooper. Um, Mission and Zalbar because... I really like them, and Sunfac for fleet, and to ensure I can consistently pass the accolade. So th th these are kind of my projects for the next few months, um, obviously pending what's going to happen. Um, my priorities could shift rather abruptly if there's a new legendary or journey character. So we will see what happens there. Now we'll come over to ships real quick. One of my passive projects is basically maxing out all the ships. You can see... Uh, that's one of the reasons I want to take all my pilots to level 85. I want to take all my pilots to gear 11. Basically max out all my ships. Because it's called Star Wars, not Ground Wars. 
And anything I do to the bottom half of my roster is going to be okay. Um, currently, we're in the middle of the Imperial TIE Bomber event, and I will get him to five stars. Probably a little more than that. I didn't push super hard on the Rebel Y-Wing because it was on fleet energy, and that was... I'm not farming anything on fleet. I mean, I'm not farming anything on Cantina either, but I mean, the EV is a lot higher on Cantina because you get a currency, Cantina currency, which I've been using for shard shop currency. Um, farming the Peltmobile and the BTL Y-Wing because, as you can see again, uh, I don't really have any other ships that I need to farm. So I definitely want to take all these, take all my ships to 7-star. That's one of my goals. Um, don't know how long this is going to take, but that's, again, I love ships. Unfortunately, characters carry a lot more weight, and I'll just kind of slowly scroll down. You can see where I'm at. I've been working on the middle and bottom of my roster, so you'll start to see a steep drop-off. Right around here. But a lot of these characters I want to work on. You'll, you'll notice a lot of the characters that are in this area, the Gear 8 area, are in my favorites for one reason or another. So I definitely want to work on a bunch of these characters. I want to top some of them off. Um, yeah, that's about it. Got my triumvirate to Gear 13. I guess I don't know if I remember if I mentioned that. But yeah, lots happened in the last six months. I was 5.4 ish 5.35 ish in my uh january video and in the june video six months later uh a little less than six months whatever six months later i'm almost 5.9 so that's crazy man it's crazy uh most of that's relics well not, maybe not most but I went kind of nuts on relics over the last six months, which is one of the reasons I'm working on the middle and bottom of my roster, because I want to wait for the people who, I said this before, I want to wait for the people who are getting their first and second Galactic Legends to pass me by on their top 80. And the easiest way to do that is to build up the middle of my roster. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you some ideas or gave you some insight into how I value my roster. Um... Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. One thing I did over the last six months is I took the pedal off mods a bit. Um, I've only been doing three, sometimes four refreshes, but I'm, I haven't been spending. So, I didn't take a pledge or anything. I just don't want to give CG money for a mediocre product. Um... So I've been being a little more efficient with my crystals and a little bit more efficient with my resources. It's been a learning process for me the last six months. I might make a separate video on that, learning how to not dolphin or whale. So maybe look out for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down, don't care. Um, they both boost this video. Feel free to comment, ask a question, or... And, and consider subscribing. Content's been a little light the last month or so because 3v3's been... Well, might talk about that in another video. And Kyle has been working, has been doing, been part of the Chain Gang on Twitch. So go subscribe to DeadpoolKyle328. I believe. Man, I really should have looked that up before I'd said that. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, yeah, go support his channel, support this channel if you feel the need, and uh, have a wonderful day, guys.